So I met Larry Sonsini a couple of years ago, just as I was starting to think about Ozzy. And I didn't really know him uh, that well, but as I got to know him, I found that he was terrific in hearing a new idea. You know, given all the success he had, I assumed he was going to be jaded. He'd done everything from Apple to Hewlett Packard to what have you. And I thought, what do we have at Ozzy that's going to be special? But within five minutes, it was a fundamentally different conversation. Instead of pitching Larry, and frankly, I was there to pitch him, five minutes into it, he's telling me, Carlos, I get it. I've been thinking the same thing about the changes in demographics, the same kind of opportunity, and I love what you're doing. And uh, it made me smile. I always tell people that that was the moment I knew Ozzy was going to be big because I assumed there were going to be a bunch of millennials who were excited about Ozzy. But when someone like Larry, who had seen everything and did everything, got excited about it too, I knew we were on to something big. And, you know, since then, he's been terrific. Uh, never doesn't answer. Uh, doesn't matter if it's the weekend, late night, what have you. And I, I guess there's something about that that reminds me a little bit of Joe Montana, the quarterback, that I remember meeting Joe. And for all of his success, he was so humble, so friendly, so easy around everyone. And I feel like Larry's the exact same way. And I think it puts you at ease, uh, allows at least me to have really interesting conversations with him, come away with really good lessons. And even when Larry disagrees with you, he does something terrific, which is he'll press his point, he'll make his case, and if he disagrees with you, but it's clear you want to go a different direction, he gets that, watches you as you do it, and when it works, you know, he's great about it, and when it doesn't work, you know, he's like, well, let's think about what we can do next. I love that about him. I've learned a lot, and, uh, and I've become a real fan, admirer, and, uh, and friend of his. You know, it's funny, when I was in law school uh, at Stanford, it was the first time I heard about Larry. Um, I went to interview at Wilson Sonsini. I was a first-year law student, nervous as all get out. And then I heard the story of Larry and John Wilson and others coming together with this crazy idea that as a law firm, they wouldn't just serve the biggest clients, but in fact, they would take a risk. They would invest themselves on small and interesting ideas. And whether those ideas grew up to become Google um, or Apple or whether they ended up being good trials but didn't quite make it. I love the fact that there were people who were uh, rooting uh, for innovation and were trying to help people turn the corner. And I think that Larry's been a huge part of making the Valley not some isolated thing that a handful of people engage in, meaning kind of engineers and investors, but really saying all of us can be part of the ecosystem from doctors to teachers, from neighbors to angel investors. And I think he's had a big role to play in the Valley becoming not just a national sensation, but really a kind of global mecca. You know, everyone around the world wishes they had a Silicon Valley. You know, I've been lucky enough in life to meet a handful of really exceptional people. Uh, one of them was Oprah Winfrey. And I remember her talking about what was magical in people is not just talent, but talent combined with integrity and decency. And when I think about Larry, I think about that kind of combination. I think about someone who clearly cares about family. Um, you see his eyes light up when he talks about his wife or he talks about his sons. I knew the moment he fell in love with Ozzy was the moment his wife fell in love uh, with Ozzy. And so I love that about him. Uh, you see the way he talks about people and you see the way when he analyzes things, it's not in a way that says, I know a ton more than you and I've been doing this for 40 plus years, but it's a way in saying, you know what, when I look at this and when I see how other people probably think about it, here's what I'd consider if I were you. Uh, I think he's terrific. I think he's made a huge difference. And I think it started uh, with the fact that he brings humility to it every single day. Well, uh, people may not know that Larry was quite the college athlete, rugby player uh, out at Cal. Um, they may not know that his dad was also quite a very skilled advisor and consulary down in Southern California when he was growing up. Um, I, I, just think, uh, I just think Larry's a ton of fun. I love the fact that he still wears a suit in the Valley. I love that, love it. You know, he's taking it seriously every day, not swayed by the jeans, the t-shirts, the flip-flops, what have you. I love that he goes his own way, still an innovator to this day. Hey Larry, so congratulations on your induction. No one deserves more than you to be in the Entrepreneur's Hall of Fame.